scientists just uncovered shocking secrets buried deep beneath the moon's far side. Thanks to China's Chang'e 6 mission, we now have the very first samples from this mysterious lunar region, and what they reveal is rewriting everything we thought we knew. From unexpected volcanic activity to clues about the moon's magnetic history and interior composition, this video dives into how these discoveries were made, why they matter, and what they mean for understanding the moon. Chang'e's success mission to the moon's far side has completely transformed our understanding of lunar history. The samples it returned from the South Pole, Aitken Basin reveal that this seemingly quiet and mysterious region was once geologically alive. Scientists discovered two distinct volcanic events embedded in the lunar soil. They revealed volcanic activity on the lunar far side around 4.2 billion and 2.8 billion years ago, lasting at least 1.4 billion years. They also obtained the first paleomagnetic data from the far side, discovering that the lunar magnetic field may have rebounded around 2.8 billion years ago, suggesting that the lunar dynamo did not decline steadily but experienced fluctuations. This long-spanning volcanic timeline changes everything we thought we knew. For decades, scientists assumed the moon's far side cooled down early and stayed relatively dormant compared to the near side. But Chang'e 6 findings show that volcanic activity on the far side lasted for at least 1.4 billion years. That's not a quick burst of lava. It's a sustained geological pulse from deep within the moon. What adds another fascinating twist is the magnetic evidence preserved in these rocks. The younger samples from the 2.8 billion year event show signs of a surprisingly strong lunar magnetic field. That's a big deal because scientists previously believed the moon's magnetic field faded long before that. The strength of the field in these samples suggests that the moon's internal dynamo, its magnetic engine, reignited or persisted much later than assumed. This magnetic signature challenges the idea of a simple, linear decline in lunar magnetism. It hints at a more complex process, possibly involving convective motion in the moon's core or even changes in how the mantle circulated heat. The volcanic activity and magnetic revival seem to line up, suggesting a powerful link between the moon's internal heat and its ability to generate magnetism. The Chang'e 6 samples didn't just tell a story about ancient lava. They also delivered a surprising twist about water, or rather, the lack of it. When scientists examined tiny particles from the returned material, including fine-grained basalts and mineral fragments, they found extremely low levels of water in the lunar mantle. Specifically, that's astonishingly dry compared to samples from the near side. This discovery has major implications. Water in planetary interiors isn't just about moisture. It's a powerful clue to a planet or moon's formation and its geological evolution. On Earth, water influences everything from plate tectonics to volcanic eruptions. On the moon, water content in the mantle helps scientists piece together how it formed and how it evolved over billions of years. The stark dryness of the far side's mantle suggests one of two things. Either the far side mantle was born this dry from the very beginning, or something stripped it of volatiles and water long ago. Scientists lean toward the idea that the moon's violent early history, specifically the massive impact that created the moon, might have caused uneven distribution of water. In this scenario, the near side retained more volatiles, while the far side was left drier and more depleted. Adding to this, the chemical composition of the samples showed a significant lack of incompatible elements, those that don't easily fit into the crystal structures of common minerals and instead remain and melt. This chemical signature implies the mantle source beneath the far side is not only dry, but also highly depleted in elements that help generate internal heat. This matters because it helps explain why the far side looks so different from the near side. A drier, cooler mantle results in less volcanic activity and thicker crust. That's exactly what we see. The far side is rugged and heavily cratered, with far fewer lava plains. In contrast, the near side is flatter, darker, and more volcanic. These findings push us to rethink how planetary bodies store and lose their internal ingredients over time. Understanding the dry and depleted state of the far side helps refine our models not just for the moon, 
but also for how rocky worlds evolve throughout the solar system and beyond. At the center of all these discoveries lies one of the moon's greatest features, the South Pole, Aitken Basin. This colossal impact structure stretches about 2,500 kilometers wide. It's the largest, oldest, and deepest known impact basin on the moon, and it may be the reason the far side is so different from the near side. The formation of this basin, which occurred roughly 4.25 billion years ago, was a cataclysmic event. It punched straight through the lunar crust, exposing material from deep within the mantle. The energy released reshaped the moon's interior, likely altering how heat moved through the body and how its interior layers were organized. One of the most important outcomes of this event may have been its ability to spark volcanic activity. By breaching the crust and disturbing the mantle, the South Pole, Aitken impact may have triggered the ancient eruptions recorded in the Chang'e 6 samples. The volcanic events dated to 4.2 and 2.8 billion years ago line up perfectly with what would be expected after such a massive impact destabilized the deep interior. Even more intriguingly, this event might have helped revive the moon's magnetic field. As molten rock moved and internal dynamics changed, the lunar dynamo, the mechanism that generates a magnetic field, could have flickered back to life. The younger rocks show evidence of a strong magnetic field existing at least 2.8 billion years ago, suggesting that the impact may have set off changes in the core or mantle that allowed magnetism to return, at least temporarily. The impact may also be the reason why the mantle beneath the far side is so dry and chemically distinct. By ejecting large amounts of volatile-rich material, the basin-forming event could have permanently changed the composition of the lunar interior in that region. The mantle would be left depleted, cooler, and less capable of producing further volcanic activity. In essence, this one event did more than carve a hole in the moon. It reshaped its entire geological personality. The far side became drier, quieter, and more rugged, while the near side remained more active and molten for longer. Chang'e 6 mission allowed scientists to piece together this massive puzzle using tiny fragments of lunar rock to uncover one of the most important chapters in the moon's story. The Chang'e 6 mission has turned lunar science on its head. By analyzing just a handful of far side samples, scientists uncovered ancient volcanic eruptions, a surprisingly strong magnetic field, and a mantle that's far drier than expected. These findings don't just deepen our understanding of the moon, they reshape our knowledge of how rocky worlds evolve. Every fragment tells a bigger story about heat, magnetism, and planetary history. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.